So apparently we had a uh, three-second video, um, and no, I can't teach genetics that quickly. Uh, so let's do this again. Um, again, um, hopefully you're working with those vocabulary packets as well. That has a lot of vocabulary words in it that are going to help you understand what we're talking about. Uh, so when I'm saying things like recessive gene versus dominant gene or recessive trait versus dominant trait, genetics, heredity, offspring, um, all of those words come up, and I may not necessarily stop and explain them all, um, but let's kind of go through um, these notes. I'm going to do it as quickly as I can so I can get it posted so people can keep working and getting their badges. Um, how would you describe yourself? Uh, and not, you know, oh, I'm a nice person or I'm lazy and I play Fortnite all day or anything like that. I'm saying, like, if you were to, like, physically describe yourself, I am tall, I am short, I have blonde hair, I have black hair, I have blue eyes, I have brown eyes, I have freckles, I don't have freckles, I have dimples, I have no idea what a dimple is, um, I have a widow's peak, I don't know what a widow's peak is, my earlobes are attached or detached, I have no idea what that means. Um, these 10 characteristics that you make about yourself probably, probably are things that you inherited from your parents. Uh, skin color, height, hair color, the type of hair you have. Um, now that can be obviously a little different. Um, you may not naturally have curly hair, but you can put your hair in curlers or use a curling iron and get curly hair. That's different. Um, but most of the things that you describe about yourself are probably inherited. Now you may say, I have a scar on my right arm. You did not inherit that. You acquired it. And we'll get to that in a little bit um, because these things are fairly important for us to understand. But when you start describing yourself, you're going to be listing things that are inherited from your parents and then some things that you may not have inherited from your parents when you're talking about your physical appearance. How are inherited traits, uh, learned behaviors, and acquired traits different from each other? If you know the difference between inherited, learned, and acquired, you're going to crush the test at the end of all this. Um, so let's think about some of these things here. Um, let's, let's look at this kid down here. Okay. Um, I see he has black hair. Okay. Well, I look up here. Well, it's obvious he got his hair color from both of his parents. They both have black hair. He inherited that. I see that he has, you know, let's just call these brown eyes. His eyes are the same color as his dad's. I don't know because his mom is squinting. She's smiling so big. Uh, but let's just assume he got his eye color from his dad. Um, now, I noticed that he has freckles, and I don't see any freckles in either parent. Now, that could mean they either grew out of those, they only had them when they were little, or maybe the grandparents have freckles. Um, because those genes are passed from the grandparents, let's say the grandparents are here, down to the parents, and then some of those genes are even passed on to you. That's why some of you may look a little bit like your grandma or your grandpa, because some of those genes have been passed to your parents and then now passed on to you. Um, if this kid had a scar on his arm, let's say his arm's here and he had a scar, he acquired that. Um, he Maybe he fell when he was outside skateboarding, um, and so that would be an acquired trait. Um, and let's just say he knows how to read and to write. He learned that. He was not born that way. Um, he did not, you know, he wasn't this born, oh, I know how to read and write. You have to learn that. Um, he wasn't born with a scar. Um, you have to learn, or I'm sorry, you have to acquire the scar. You have to learn how to read. You have to acquire the scar. But he was born with, with black hair, and he got that from his parents. I don't, I don't know what that was. Um... Humans and other animals are a mix of characteristics from their parents. So they get a little bit of genes from their mom, a little bit of genes from their dad. Um, and then you have your behaviors that you acquire and you learn. So if we take a look at this family tree over here, okay? Um, if we look here at this set of parents, right? We look at this set of parents. We see that these kids here um, have inherited some of the traits from their parents. But the one thing that's really important, look at this. This kid has glasses, no glasses here, no glasses here. Where did he get that trait, that need for glasses? Probably, look, from up here, those genes were passed. They happened to not need the glasses, but he got those genes that need where he does need glasses. Um, and then both of their kids down here, neither one of them need glasses, and that's okay. And, and we'll get into a little bit of how traits are passed along, and that's okay. Um, but a physical characteristic is something that's passed from a parent to their baby. Um, so if a zebra was to have a baby, you expect the zebra baby to have stripes, okay? You don't expect the baby to come out um, and, and be brown. I mean, that wouldn't make sense. Um, you would not expect um, two brown horses to give birth to a, an orange, and I'm talking like fluorescent orange um, horse. 
it's probably going to be a darker color. Now, depending on the grandparents, it could be a little bit different color, and that would be fine, but you expect them to look somewhat like their parents. Um, and yes, there are genetic oddities that happen, like albino squirrels. Um, there was a white squirrel that lived near my dad's when I was little. He was all white. Um, that is a genetic abnormality. That is not. That is that is just something that happens, um, and it, that's okay. That that gene can get passed down for a while. That and and eventually happen in offspring, but it's it's more rare for that to happen. You're typically going to look like your parents. Um, now there are oddities. Um, if you were to meet my parents, you might be like, you know, well, Mr. B, like you didn't get any traits from your parents. And well, that would be correct because I was adopted. And there might be some of us out there listening to this who are in that same boat. Um, you know, maybe, I mean, I know I lived with my grandparents for a little bit when I was younger. Um, I didn't look like them, number one, because I was adopted. But number two, like, I mean, no one looks exactly like their grandparents. I mean, some of you may look very similar because of genetics, and that's okay. Um, so when we're talking about this, don't think that it applies all the time. The people that I call my parents, well, I don't look like them at all because I am not genetically linked to them, and that's okay. Great video to watch. Um, I hate that we don't get to watch this in class and do the, um, the activities that go along with it. That would really kind of help us understand this a little more. Uh, but genes, we keep mentioning these things about parents are passing along genes. Genes are characteristics in cells um, that are passed on to your your children or your parents have passed them on to you. Um, they're the basic units of heredity. Pretty much your genes, not, not like a pair of genes, like your genes, G-E-N-E-S. Your genes tell you what traits you're going to inherit, the color of your hair the type of hair you have, how tall or short you are, the color of your eyes, the color of your skin, those are embedded in your genes. Those are embedded in your genes. Um, and so when we're talking about genes, those are the things that we are talking about. Chromosomes. You're going to hear that come up very often. Um, it's not something you have to sit there and like pound into your head. I need you to know the word. Um, you'll dig more into that later on. Um, chromosomes are tiny little structures inside of cells. They're made from DNA. Um, and protein. The information inside the chromosome is almost like a recipe that tells the cells how to function. Humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes, so we have a total of 46. If we have 23 pairs, we have 46 chromosomes in each cell. Um, plants and animals have different numbers of chromosomes. For example, the garden pea, and you'll, I don't know if we'll get to that, but Gregor Mendel uh, studied genetics um, you can look that up on your own if you want to and do Punnett squares and stuff. But a pea has 14 chromosomes, where an elephant has 56. Um, and so it's different to look at the, the chromosomes. But you can look at that and then kind of start piecing together um, what something might look or be like. Um, so when we say genes, you have two types of genes. You have the dominant gene and you have the recessive gene. Um, and you inherit two genes from your parents. You get one from your mom and one from your dad. Um, and so it really just depends on what you, what type of gene you get. Um, for example, in the background, you can kind of see this picture going on here. Um, brown eyes are dominant genes. Dominant genes are going to express themselves because they are dominant. Just think of they, they dominate. They are overpowering. Um, if a dominant gene is present, it's going to show itself. Um, you would almost need to have uh, two recessive genes together before you're going to see a recessive gene. Um, you know, there, there are some kids in our classes, um, and if you were to pair them together, we have some very loud talkers, right? And if you were to put them with some of our quieter people, you would never hear the quieter people talking because the louder person always overpowers them. They're more dominant. Whereas if you put two very quiet people together, I could actually stop by and hear them talk. Um, why? Because they actually get to express themselves when they're not around something that's very dominant. So brown eyes. If you have brown eyes, it's a very dominant gene. Um, and here's how this happens. You're going to get one of these genes from your dad. You're going to get one of these genes from your mom. Now, if you happen to get this big B from your dad, which is brown, and the big B from your mom, that's two dominant genes. Here you go down here two big Bs, you most definitely have brown eyes. 
there's not even a remote chance of you having any other color, color eye. Um, you, you have two dominant genes. Now, if you take this big B from the dad and the little B from the mom, you get big B and little B. Still brown eyes, though. Why? Well, because the dominant gene is there. And the dominant gene is always going to express itself. Um, however, if both of the parents give off this little B, two little Bs, here you go over here, little B and little B, the recessive gene that doesn't often show itself actually gets to show itself because there's nothing overpowering it. So that's dominant versus recessive. Another great video for you to watch. Um, you're going to learn a lot from this one. I would recommend watching it more than once. All right, inherited traits. These are things that you actually get from your parents. Okay, and the first thing that I always get asked is, Mr. Bowens, who is that guy and why is he on here? Well, number one, it's my favorite rapper. Um, and number two, he has the biggest dimples of any human being on earth. Um, and that's an inherited trait that a lot of people may not know what it is. Like, what is a dimple? Well, when you smile, if you get this indention in your cheeks, you have dimples. Um, but things you get from your parents, eye color, skin color, hair color, the type of hair you have. Now, if you're curling your hair or straightening your hair in the mornings, that does not count. The type of hair you were born with, dimples. We all know what freckles are. We know how, what height is. These next two are a little weird, though. Attached and detached earlobes. A lot of people, what in the world is that, Mr. Bullens? And widow's peak. I have no idea what that is. Guess what? I'm going to show you. Dimples are here. Talk about that. So now you kind of know what those are. So when you're doing anything later on, taking notes, whatever, you know what dimples are. Here are attached versus detached earlobes. Now, again, you inherit this trait from your parents. Um, are your earlobes attached to the side of your head or are they detached? Not really attached. They kind of have that little bit of floppy motion down at the bottom there. Um, that is something that you inherit from your parents. Attached versus detached earlobes. It's really not that hard once you see it, you're like, oh, I've never really thought about what that means. And you may have to run to the bathroom and look in the mirror to see what kind of earlobes you have. You probably never really even thought about that. Um, but that's very neat to look at, attached versus detached earlobes. Uh, and last, we have the widow's peak. Um, a widow's peak is, as it says right here on the screen, a V-shaped growth of the hair toward the center of the forehead. You can see that here, right? See that V-shape in the middle of the head? Um, now, um, I like I like that this picture really shows a normal looking um, widow's peak. I typically, if you think of like older pictures of Dracula, um, or if you watch the Munsters, um, their son Eddie had a, r a ridiculous um, widow's peak. You can look up the Munsters, M U N S T E R S, and Eddie, and you'll see what a ridiculous widow peak he had. But it was fake. I mean, that was like a wig or something. This is a realistic widow's peak. That gentle V shape. Not a lot of people have that. Typically in a year, I might have one to two students in the entire fifth grade that has a widow's peak. Um, not very often do I get a lot of those in a classroom. Um, but again, it's something that's inherited. If you go see his brother, his brother has the exact same hairline. And I would imagine probably mom and dad, or maybe even both, um, have that same hairline. Um, it is something that is inherited. So we've taken a look at what it looks like um, for the beginning of genetics. We've talked about vocabulary, and we've talked about also um, all of the inherited traits. If I'm not mistaken, hopefully the uh, next video starts here. If it doesn't, then send me some more messages, and we'll get that fixed for you. Um, so we've gone through everything with our inherited traits, widow's peak, attached and detached earlobes, and then the very easy things, skin color, eye color, hair color, um, freckles, height, do you have curly or straight hair naturally? Um, and we'll get into what that means if you do something to your hair later. That's an acquired trait. If you dye your hair or you curl it or you straighten it on purpose, that's acquired what you were born with. Okay, so that is inherited traits, and it's, I guess, better than a three-second video.